Hey, welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy, and today is Garden Tour Week 6. So, a lot's changed in the last week in our garden. We thought that we would bring you along. We're going to have to pick some peppers today, and I wanted to show you the purple hole peas and how they're doing. We're probably going to be able to pick some of those tomorrow. So, let's go and see what's going on with the pepper. These Cuban nails have really grown and these things we've just been getting left and right so i'm gonna pull some of these off i don't know if I've had any cuban nails before but they're just like a sweet pepper kind of like a cross between a bell pepper and banana pepper good job and then we've got several jalapenos that we need to pick these things have been really hot um, something I wanted to talk about. We've been mixing aspirin and water together and the aspirin water mixture acts like the hormone that the plant puts out. It makes it stronger and it also makes the peppers hotter they say and I can tell you these have been really really hot this year. These are the hottest jalapenos that we have had in quite some time. So if you haven't actually um, ever heard about doing that? That might be something you want to look up and read about yourself. It's really pretty interesting. This, we've sprayed all of our peppers, sweet and hot, with the mixture, and it really does seem to have made a great difference in our harvest and the health of the plants. Thank you. a good one. These we'll probably go ahead and pick tomorrow. Happy that these have already come in. Peas are one of the quickest growing things and like what I talked about in one of my other videos, the more that you pick, the more that they give. So we'll get out here tomorrow and start picking some of these that are ready and hopefully we'll have some nice purple whole peas soon. So something that I wanted to uh, point out about our Kajari melons um, they have finally got some pretty blooms that are coming up and should be opening up pretty soon. So really excited to see how well these do. Um, they're supposed to be pretty big, heavy producers. So looking forward to that. Right here we had the Uthaca. I think we showed them in some of the, or actually it was the last video. Well, these actually hatched out. So I'm gonna put in some photos and some video of the little praying mantis um, where they hatched out. So I came out to check our garden and pick a couple squash and one of the Uthicos, the praying mantis eggs that we have uh, tied up in the garden, I just noticed is hatching some baby praying mantis, which is exciting. So now, hopefully we'll have some organic pest control in our garden. And there's still a bunch of them coming out. We still have three other Uthicos that I need to go check. This is, just happens to be the only one that I noticed was hatching. seeing them here and there in the garden and I think there was probably close to 200 of them that hatched out all together. It was something that was really neat to see. They're little bitty tiny um, baby praying mantis. So cool and hopefully we're going to have some nice organic pest control since that happened and really that's about all that's going on except for that 
everything is just growing and growing. Sunflowers are still getting really tall and I think they're getting close to producing their blooms. So. Let me know what you think. I got a new microphone. Hopefully that you can hear me better. I have it right here instead of attached to the um, recording equipment. And I'm hoping that this does a lot better and it makes it easier to hear. But I think that's it for Garden Tour Week 6. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time that I put up a new video. And I can't wait to see you next week.